with your FX. We are finally here, FOMC, in June. Still, still got 12 and a half hours to get there, but at least we're on the same day. Crazy day yesterday with Mr. Trump insinuating that uh, there'll be a deal with China. Stocks jammed higher, uh, good 30 handles, you know, a good 50 handles from the lows. Um, you know, just shake your head. Looks, uh, here's the stock chart. Looks incredibly overdone. 27.30 two weeks ago. Now we're 29.30, 200 handles. Um, obviously, the all time highs are 29.60. Today's the day. If he's dovish, if he's sufficiently dovish, this will ramp. Uh, if he's not dovish enough, uh, this will drop 50 handles, I think. Um, so it's pretty binary. Um, a lot of binary moves out there today. Uh, I'm talking about stocks because I think this is going to be your biggest bang for the buck, as in this will be the most volatile uh, element today in trading. Uh, I will go to the 10 years real quick. Um, this is a 10 year yield, traded down to 201. It's interesting also that the low in September 07, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, September, September 7, 2017, also 201. Um, we've printed what looks like a turn bar. You can sell bonds if we trade 210 in the tens, uh, which obviously is going to happen today if he's hawkish with 2074 now. Um, this looks like a turn setup, um, and this will be our trade of the week. If you see 210, you want to sell US 10 years. We're looking for a move up to here, which is 230. Uh, and then your stop originally is going to be below 2, but then we will move that up uh, quickly uh, depending on price action and depending on story. So this will be our trade of the week, selling the bonds so you're getting long yield um, effectively, same thing. But you're obviously not trading the yield, you're trading the bond. Anyway, back to currencies where we're more comfortable. Uh, very, very bearish yesterday, Draghi. Uh, we still like Euro lower. If he's hawkish today, 111.09 is going to be in play. Uh, it may be a bleeder, as in we may print a 111.28 low today, and then tomorrow or Friday uh, this thing goes. Um, but core short euros, if he's hawkish, looks uh, looks the looks the way to go. Um, going into the meeting, you want to be core short, sort of cross cross euro. So we talked about euro sterling, which was our horse yesterday. Uh, we talked about euro Aussie, which was uh, the big winner, uh, Mr. Cookie Trader. Um, Another Twitter fella out there, uh, he, he called that one early. It was 163.60 when he said it. Um, this bearish engulf, this looks uh, incredibly, incredibly bearish now. Um, so going into the, into the announcement, you want to be short cross. Um, and then... Once we know whether it's hawkish or dovish, you want to either sell euros if he's hawkish. Uh, and then if he's dovish, what do we do? I think dollar yen is going to be the horse if he's dovish, but it could be Aussie. Look at that Aussie bar. And Aussie's very extended. And I guess it also could be euro. But Euro, no, we don't like Euro because of Draghi. I think Aussie's going to be your horse if he's dovish. I'm just thinking out loud here. 
I would say Aussie's my number one horse if he's dovish. Uh, and then I would look at perhaps Cable as my second horse. Um, so those are the two horses if dovish. If hawkish or not dovish enough, um, we're really going to focus on Euro, especially because we're coming to the year's lows at 111.08. Anyway, uh, 12, 12 hours to go. Some more time to think about this. And of course, at the, at the 12th hour, where the location of each currency is, is going to add to the strength of the story. Obviously, if nothing changes um, as to right now, the horses remain the same. But if Aussie goes up 60 points today in the next 12 hours, it doesn't become our, it's less likely to be our dovish horse, if you see what I mean. So, anyway, let's, uh, we'll, we'll revisit this on Twitter as we get closer. The one thing I do want to point out also is we have CPI coming out of the UK. Back to this cable chart. This looks, this looks to have turned. I haven't even looked at the political wires yet, but I guess Boris is going to be the guy. I don't really think that matters. Um, it's just like a cluster of douchebags on both sides of the aisle. Um, we we'll just, you know, it's really just going to matter if the House of Lords allows a hard Brexit. So, um, we're just going to look at the price here. And the price looks like it's turned. Um, we talked about 11 looking like it was going to be the low. We did nip down below to 07. Uh, and then we did get some acceleration through 44. Uh, the pivot today is 71. This was sort of the breakdown. Although 86 also is a breakdown. Between 71 and 86 is kind of the pivot. But it'll be... It'll be news driven if it goes higher. So if CPI comes in hot, they're expecting uh, 0 0.1. If it comes in hot, which is uh, hard hard to imagine, but it could, um, this thing this thing will go higher. Um, so you want to watch uh, UK CPI at 10:30. Again, I always say this. Any of you who have retail platforms or don't have robust liquidity, don't have proper aggregators, and or don't have proper internet speed, do not trade the number. You must wait. And it might be waiting for the pullback. So if it's hot, we trade up at the figure, try and buy the pullback down to 80 or 75, whatever. Um, if you're not set up, to trade numbers and beat algos who are trading at uh, one one thousandth of a second do not trade right on the number you have to wait anyway sermon over Canadian CPI is also today um, dollar cat also turned yesterday bearish engulfed like the Aussie chart um, same type of deal if this comes in hot the Canadian economy is probably one of the strongest economies out there in the world, so um, this has room to go lower. The problem with it, of course, is you don't want to just pile into dollar CAD going into FOMC, so it's just hit and run. Um, or it might be just skip it, um, depending on how you're feeling and, you know, how much energy you want to save for FOMC. Draghi is speaking at 4 p.m. Um, four hours before the FOMC. There's no way he's going to change his tune. I don't think you have to listen to Draghi anymore the rest of the week. He's just bearish. Um, but th there may be some vol there. Just, just throwing that out there. So we have three events today. Two CPIs, one FOMC. FOMC is going to be the big, uh, the big whale. Um, bonds and stocks are going to move more than currencies, it looks like, according to implied vol. Um, but there will be money to be made in currencies today. And that, um, that gets us a little bit excited. So we're going to be ready to roll later this evening. Surely there will be a nap involved uh, after lunch today. And with that, I wish you all loads of luck and... 
make some dough. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.